our topic for today is geometry. Okay, so let's start. Our topic is points, lines, and planes. But first, let's define what is geometry. Geometry is the study of the position, shape, and size of objects. The language of geometry. First is point. As you can see in the fig figure, there is point which is designated as A. So the symbolic name is point A. Okay, a point is a location in space. It has no length, width, or height. Next is line. As you can see in the picture, there's a line with two points A and B, and the line is called N. The symbolic name is line AB, or line BA, or line N. A line is a set of points that extends in two directions without end. A line can be named with a lowercase letter. Next is line segment or segment. As you can see in the, fi in the figure, uh, line segment P and Q. It is, uh, its symbolic name is line PQ or line QP. A segment is a part of a line. It has two end points. The length of line segment PQ is written as line P PQ. Next is ray. As you can see in the picture, one side has an arrow. So the symbolic name is uh, ray AB or uh, AB with ray on top. Okay, so a ray is a part of a line with start point but no end point. Next is plane. Okay, plane is a flat surface. The symbolic name is a, a plane A, B, C, D or plane M. A plane is a two-dimensional flat surface. It is made up of continuous collection of points. Next is intersecting line. Two lines crosses at a common point. That is intersecting line. So the common point is E. So this figure is read as line AB intersects line CD at point E. Next is the perpendicular lines. Two lines that intersect forming right angles at, a po at the point of intersection. Okay, so we have two lines intersecting and forming a right angle. Okay, so there's a right angle there. This figure is read as line ZW is perpendicular to line XY. And this is how it is written. Okay, next is parallel lines. Two lines lie on the same play, plane but never intersect there. So they never touches each other. So they, they are parallel with each other. This figure is read as line MN is parallel to line PQ.
Next is perpendicular lines. Two lines that intersect forming right angle at the point of intersection. So from the figure, we see a right angle. So this is perpendicular lines. And this figure is read as line ZW is perpendicular to line XY. And it is written this way. So line ZW is perpendicular to line XY. Next is parallel lines. Two lines lie on the same plane, plane but never intersect. This is parallel lines. And this is read as line MN is parallel to line P PQ. And this is, uh, it's, it's a symbolic name. Next is skew lines. These are lines that do not lie on the same plane. They are not parallel and they do not intersect. Skew segments are parts of skew lines. So this is skew lines. Okay, this figure is read as line segments MN, MN, and RS are segments which are parts of skew lines. So NP, NP is skew to QR, and TP is skew to QV. Okay. Next is angles. So an angle is formed when two rays meet at a common point. This point is called the vertex. Okay, so this is the vertex and the rays are the sides of the angle. So these are the rays and this is the angle. So line OB and line OA are the sides of the given angle and O is the vertex of the angle. So what are the kinds of angles? Acute angle. Acute angle is an angle that measures greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degrees. Okay, so angle ABC is an acute angle because it is less than 90 degrees. Next is right angle. Right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. So this is how it looks like. So this is read as angle DEF is a right angle. Next is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So more than 90 degrees. So this is read as angle GHJ is an obtuse angle. Next is straight angle. And a straight angle measures 180 degrees. So this is how it looks like. It's a straight angle angle. So angle M and P is a straight angle. Next is reflex angle. Reflex angle is an angle that measures greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So this is read as angle AOB is a reflex angle. Zero angle is an angle that measures zero degrees. So this is uh, how it looks like and it is read as angle SPQ is a zero angle. Next is no angle. 
no angle is all angles at a point that add up to 360. So this is an example, which is when you add up all the angles, the total is 360. So this is called no angle. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E, if the answer is 360, it is called no angle. Next is pairs of angles. Okay, adjacent angles. So adjacent angles are two angles that have a common sides and a common vertex. So this is how it looks like. So angle one and angle two, common sides and common vertex. So angle one and angle two are adjacent angle. Next is vertical angles. Vertical angle angles are two angles formed by two intersecting lines. They have common vertex, but no common sides. So, this is how it looks like. Next is complementary angle. Complementary angle are angles whose sum and measures is 90 degrees. Each angle is said to be the complement of each other. So this is how it looks like. And the total is 90 degrees. So angle AOC and angle COB are complementary angle. And is equals to 90 degrees. Next is supplementary angle. Supplementary angle are two angles whose sum of measure is 180 degrees. Each angle is said to be the supplement of the other. Okay? So, angle AOC and angle COB are supplementary angle. When you add them, the total is 180 degrees. Okay? Again, this is Teacher Gang, and I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!